Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Today's video, I have some money on the table because this is bonus money that I need to stuff. I spoke about this in my last video, but I had a thought. Before I just go ahead and stuff this money into, you know, my 50 envelopes and my coin savings challenge, I wanted to use this money and see if I could do a little mini cash condensing. So let's give this a count so we know what we'll need to have at the end of the video. In coins, I have $1.40, so I will pop those over into my coin savings challenge in a moment. But in notes, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115. So I'm just going to pop this here in the tray and we can start doing some condensing. But I do have here just my tracker that I made up just to show where this money came from. So $46.40, so the coins and some of the notes came from my return and earn. I had $50 as a payout for cash rewards. I don't have my interest money here that has stayed in the bank. I have some of my Facebook Marketplace money here, some of that I stuffed earlier on in the month. And then same here with this other, this is, you know, my brother giving me money to drive him to the pub and back and whatnot. I also haven't filled in my Etsy totals as yet because I don't stuff any money from my Etsy that I might make. Everything at this point in time just goes straight back into my business bank account and you know, pays for supplies and things like that. So that's just a little overview of where this money has actually come from. So I will pop this off to the side and what we'll do just to start it off, I'm going to jump in here and just fill in one of my $1 coin icons because I only have $1 that I can fill in because I don't have anything for the 40 cents. So that one's done. I'm going to pop that off to the side and I will pop that away into my coin jar shortly. So what do we have left on here? We've got a row of $10. 15, 20, 25, $27 left on this coin challenge and then that one is done. So I'm very excited about that. I have these as both physical listings and digital downloads on my Etsy. Etsy receipt jar, everything like that is always linked below in the description. So that is done. We can pop that one, I'll pop it over here. All right, so we've got this money here. I know there is a couple of envelopes in my fun binder that I would like to try and condense if I can. And we'll just, I don't have any hundreds, so I'm gonna lose that 50 there pretty quick. But let's pop our placeholder away. Look at all these tens I have in here, that's ridiculous. Okay, so we've got 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 45. So we can drop the five for sure. And what I might do, hmm, I might take this 50 in tens, pop that into here, and then I've got, hmm, I might keep a 10 and I'll just drop these two fives. Whoa. Drop these two fives for a 10. So we should have in here 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145. So that's a tiny bit more condensed. I wanted to just leave my 20s in the back there just so I have something to play with when I get to some other envelopes. I've got a heap of 10s. That's okay. And then what I'll do at the end of the condensing of what I can condense anyways, I will just quickly run through and stuff this money away into some of these envelopes anyways. Okay, I think I am pretty okay with fun being the way that it is. Maybe I could drop two fives for a 10 because I've got quite a few 10s there. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, $130 there. So it's not as condensed as I would like it to be, but it is something at least. Office, what have we got in here? This needs condensing really badly. All right, 50, 70, 90, 100. Then we've got 10, 20, 30, 45. So what I might do is drop two tens for a 20 and then I'll drop all these 
fives for two tens. So it's at least something. Okay, let's get this all situated again. Do -do 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 -do. All right. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, $145. So that is good. I may even come back to a couple of these envelopes if I get through some others. We'll see how we go. Alrighty, home. What have we got in here? 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. So I might drop two of my tens. I'll grab this 20. So 20, 40, 60, 75. That's good. That's condensed. So I'm only left with 10s and 5s now, but I'm sure I can do something with those. All right. Seasonal has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I'll drop the two 5s and I'll grab a 10. Beautiful. Normally I would take money out of my envelopes to put it back into the bank to get money to be able to do the condensing, but I didn't want to do that today because I always confuse myself. I would rather have $115 left over here at the end that I can just stuff away <laughs> than to be messing about and trying to figure out where money's come from and all the rest. All right, so I've only got 50s in Samsung and I've got two $10 in my rainy day. So that one is all good. Let's have a look and see what we can do in here. So gifts. I think we can do some fives and gifts. So 1, 20, 30, 45. So I'm just going to drop these two fives for a 10. It's at least something. Go into your home, please. All right. Still not perfect, but I'll fix it later. Alrighty. Beauty. What have we got in beauty? I don't actually mind this being in smaller notes. And I've just got two fives. I might keep that as that is. Uh, foam plan or prepaid. I've just got $15 in the back there. I've got two fives in ROC, so I will steal those for a 10. Something at least. Beautiful. Black Friday is all made up of 20s. Christmas is only 110. Health, I like having a smaller amount. Do, 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 do. You know what I could do? I could steal some of these 20s from here. So, all right. I'm going to put two fives back. I'm going to grab a 10. I'm also going to put, I might just grab all 10s to be honest. So I'll put 40 back and grab another. Oop, don't have enough. I'll have to take back two fives. So in household, we should have $50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So I realized that was a little bit of a reverse stuffing, but I quite like having smaller amounts in this household envelope. So that one's okay. What I might do is just jump back into the blue binder very, very quickly and try and use some of those 20s somewhere. So, what did we have? I've got quite a few 10s in Adventure. So, 20. I could drop those two 10s for a 20. Lovely. Fun. I think I'm going to keep that as is for now office i've got a few tens in there as well so let's grab some of those out i'll grab two of my tens for this last 20. Alrighty. so i think that is as good as it's going to get for the cash condensing portion of this video it's just going to be a very short sweet video um I am going to quickly, very quickly jump here into my manifestation binder because I really want just to update. So in my last videos, you will have seen I've been updating some of my trackers. So I have done my new car. I haven't quite gotten around to filling in the travel fund yet, but I want to swap over some of these challenges so they are my nice pretty ones. I also have 
well, spoiler alert, but I have a house series coming to Etsy. It's gonna have bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, everything like that. So I'm currently working on that and I'm very excited because once I've created them, I'll be able to start using them in this binder once I've finished some of these challenges. So that is very motivating to get what I have in here done so I can start some new stuff. So what I'm just gonna do for the time being, I'm going to pop my travel fun tracker in here just as a reminder for me to do that. And then what I'm going to do is take out new car. So this doesn't accurately reflect what I have in the bank. It's a little bit out of date. But what I have in the bank at the moment for my new car fund is $475. So I've got each icon being worth $50. So we've got 100, 200, 250, 300, 400, 450. And because I've only got a slight amount towards that, the 85, I'm just going to leave that one circled but not fully colored in just yet. So new tracker going into there. That is very exciting. I've also just made myself just to keep track in a fun way rather than having my very serious, you know, income tracker over here. I have just made myself a fun little savings tracker for my return and earn. So what I do here is I just keep the slips from when I went and got the coin, the cans done. And then I've just made this little return and earn slip and I'm just gonna fill it in. It's got space there for 12 months. I only go once a month if I can. So yeah, that's just something a little bit fun I made for myself, something new in here. Pop that back in there. I've got my little receipts. Beautiful. All right, let's go and stuff some money because that is what we are here for, yes? So, we've got our envelope, challenge, we've got our box, we've got our blue pen. We're gonna smash out some of these envelopes today. And what I need to do is actually count this and make sure we've got $115 there. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 15, 110, 115. Yay! I did it right the first time around for once. Go me. All right. Let's pop all these in here. There's a lot of fives there. And to be very honest with you, I don't mind that this challenge box has you know, lots of little notes in here because when I finally finish this, if this is filled with just like fives, tens, twenties, even the odd 50 here or there, I don't care because I'm gonna have, that's gonna look like so much money. I'm gonna have a nice big stack of money and I'm very excited for that. Oh, golly, all right. I'll count what's in there once we've filled some stuff in. But basically, because we've got so much money here, I wanna try and hit some of these really big envelopes. So. 20 and five for my first $25 envelope. And I might even try and finish this first row of 25, so that would be good. Okay, so we've got another 20 and another five for another $25 envelope. That is good, beautiful. All right, let's see if we can do the last one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, beautiful that there so that is my first row of $25 done and that's that's really exciting because that's the largest amount on my savings tracker so if I can smash all of those out just like as soon as possible perfect we're on to 20s 15s 10s and 5s I really am going to try and leave my 5s and my 10s as late as possible just so I can get some of these really big ones done all right what what can we do here 5 10 15 20 25 we can do another 25 envelope. So now we only have four of those remaining and they are all done. And then I've got $15 here. So let's hit a $15 icon here. And it's really going to annoy me that I've colored in this one little random box in the middle of nowhere. So I will probably go and clear that off and put that over here just so it matches <laughs> what I need it to match. Alrighty, so let's jump in and let's give all of this money a count. Just because I like seeing how much it's growing. Oh, look at the stack already. 
Just going to quickly give it a sort. I'm not going to put it all up the right way. I won't do that to you. I will do that off camera. Oh, look at that big stack. All right. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 15, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180, 185, 190, 195. Oh, I don't know what that noise was. That just came out of my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> oh gosh. I think that was like excitement and like a bit of annoyance that I've got 195. I just need five more dollars and then I can make that around to $200. But yes, anyway, $195 into this envelope challenge. I'm very happy with that because it's actually really building up quite quickly and I really try to only put bonus money in here so yeah this is my cans I got $50 from cash rewards because somebody used my referral code one of the ladies I work with actually so she signed up so that meant I got a $40 bonus so that was pretty sweet she got a pretty good deal too um, but yeah I'm, I'm very happy that the majority of this money is coming to me because I am actively pursuing it and working towards it. So I think maybe one day, maybe for March, I will say anything from my Etsy will go towards this rather than going straight back into my business bank account. I'll see how I'm sitting with a little buffer in my business bank account and yeah, we'll go from there. But yeah. I'm selling on Marketplace, I am, you know, decluttering, I'm doing what I can to earn some extra money to fill this envelope challenge up as quickly as I possibly can. So here is the fan. That is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made it to the end of this video, in celebration of my 50 envelope challenge, leave me an envelope emoji in the comments and I will see you very soon in the next one.